Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my Sunday vlog for April 21st, 2024. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the news, the updates, what's going on in my life and stuff like that. I just don't wanna do a, a, a thrift store haul. I went to Texas Thrift again. Went there, uh, I did a, a Sunday vlog a while back where I uh, showed you guys uh, what, what I bought there. Uh, I, I got some DVDs, I got uh, some toys and stuff like that. And then we'll do a Q&A towards the end of the video, all right? The camera straight. So the first thing I want to show you are some of the DVDs I got. I have Teen Titans Go to the Movies. I just remember seeing a clip from uh, from the movie uh, with Stan Lee. Stan Lee was like, I don't care if it's a DC movie. I'm making this cameo or something like that. Uh, so I thought it was a funny clip. Uh, so yeah, Teen Titans Go. I haven't really seen much of it. I did see the Teen Titans Go versus... The regular Teen Titans, uh, this movie, way back when, okay? Well, uh, now I've got another Teen Titans Go related movie to add to the collection, all right? Let's see. One thing I'm worried about when it comes to these thrift stores is that uh, they are scratched up or whatever. No, looks like it's watchable. So maybe in the upcoming week or so, I'll, I'll watch this and I'll let you guys know what I think, okay? I also got another DVD here. This is for the, uh, <laughs> the Paw Patrol collection. I've been collecting them. I already made a video of my Paw Patrol uh, collection video on the DVDs uh, because my uh, my niece and nephew, they enjoy this show. And I've been buying these DVDs all, all, all at Goodwills, Salvation Armies, thrift stores, you know, always super cheap. This one's only like $1.99, okay? So uh, this one's called Rubble on the Double. Rubble's this one, okay? Anything related to construction or whatever, I... I, I uh, Notice he's he's involved, okay? There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine episodes on here, okay? And uh, I'm enjoying it. I know the characters now, because I've been watching with my niece and nephew. I know that's Sky, that's Chase. I don't know who that one is, but there's a few more other ones. There's like uh, Riders, the dude, the human that, that's in, in the movie. There's also like Marshall, like who's a, a Dalmatian. Uh, uh, who rides like fire trucks and stuff like that. So uh, I'm watching Paw Patrol and hopefully the show sticks around because uh, in the future for, uh, you know, when, when the next generation for me, uh, I'll be watching it too, getting to know the, the lore and stuff like that. I know they recently had a recent movie with them as superheroes and stuff like that. I'd like to see that someday, okay? Okay, I have a, a couple toys here. The first one here is Jumbo Playing Cards, but they're... Uh, all uh, from Batman versus Superman, okay? So it has Wonder Woman, it has Harry Cavill Superman, probably has uh, Ben Affleck Batman in there too, okay? But for $2, no, not, not even $2, only 99 cents, okay? 99 cents, uh, hopefully all the cards are in there. Uh, looks like the king is Superman and queen is uh, Wonder Woman. Okay, I haven't opened it. Maybe I'll open it in the future, okay? But it looks like you can play Crazy Eights and Go Fish and all your regular card games in it. I couldn't believe when I saw this. This was was uh, was really cheap. $3.99. You know how much this guy is when you go on like eBay and stuff like that? Like sometimes 30, 40 bucks, okay? This is Turbo Man from Jingle All the Way. Like, after watching that movie, you kind of want to figure of yourself, you know? So it's got all, all those special features, you know? His, uh, his rocket pack pops up. There's a couple buttons here. Nothing works. I guess you have to change the batteries or whatever. There, there's the battery compartment. I mean, maybe I'll do like a review in the future or something like that. But hey, Turbo Man, lots of articulation. You can move all sorts of uh, ways, okay? But uh, the only thing that's missing is his visor. He has a little visor, right? Like has orange. I remember he, in the movie he had that. Uh, it doesn't have it. I don't know if it comes with any other accessories, but man, <laughs> after watching Jingle All The Way, you want a Turbo Man figure yourself, you know? I got one. <laughs> I got a Turbo Man figure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Doesn't look like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. But, uh, well, he, he plays like a dad who wants to figure. I, he's, like, he's not supposed to be the actual figure, but he ends up being, in the movie, he ends up being uh, Turbo Man, okay? All right, I said we just go straight to Q&A. Nothing really has been going on in my life recently. Um, 
uh, maybe as, as the, uh, the summer starts getting closer, more events and stuff like that will start happening. Oh, yeah. Uh, last week, you probably already saw the video of uh, myself and my, um, my cousin going to it. We went to Trader's Village Comic Con. That was fun. Uh, we saw the uh, Cowabunga factory was there. A lot of people were selling uh, action figures and, and, and toys and comics and stuff like that. You probably saw in the video I bought a Steppenwolf figure. And my cousin got a, uh, a Luffy Gear 5 from uh, One Piece. I, I don't watch One Piece. So I'm, I'm not quite familiar with, with the, how special that, that toy is, you know. But, uh, but uh, he, he really enjoyed it. He, I, he, he had put it in his room and stuff like that. My, I think my cousin had, had a good time that day. Okay. All right. Let's do some Q&A questions. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions. Uh, that people asked in the last Q&A. If you want to have a dying question, go ahead and comment on this, this uh, video, okay, uh, with your question, and I'll answer it next time, all right? The first one here is from Eva Duran U-T-L-G-E. Uh, anyway, Eva asked, do you believe in Jesus? Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, you know, over my bed right here, got the Bible over my bed, got a little crucifix right there. Jesus over there. Yeah, Jesus all over my life. I mean, I, I was raised uh, by my parents uh, to believe in Jesus, okay? Um, I don't, I've been, you know, curious about all the other religions, too. I've been, like, uh, reading about what, what they believe and stuff like that, comparing it. Overall, it's like, uh, you know, every religion teaches the same morals and stuff like that. You know, I don't think there's any religion that says, we encourage killing or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but, uh, uh, every, every religion has a positive message, you know, gives you uh, comfort about afterlife and stuff like that, you know. Uh, once you start uh, seeing all the different religions, you kind of notice they're, they're all the same in a way, okay? Uh, with a with few minor tweaks here and there, okay? Saba MMA1352, I can't even read my own handwriting here. Uh, what is the most anticipated movie for you in 2024? For me, it's Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, it's got, it's, uh, they, they recently said this past week or something like that, that Deadpool and Wolverine is not Deadpool 3. There will be a Deadpool 3. Deadpool and Wolverine is completely separate from, from that, okay? Uh, but uh, I, I think that's the big movie. It's going to be, you know, it's going to tie in all the MCU movies with, the, with all the other previous Marvel movies and stuff like that. I'm looking forward to it. Hugh Jackman returns as a... Uh, as Wolverine, uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. That's the, the movies that that's like on top of my list right now. That I really want to see. Um, Mr. DC six eight seven asks, uh, "Will I buy Suicide Squad: Kill Justice League? I believe that game uh, is only like next gen exclusive. Okay, I can't play it on my PS four. I can't play it on my Switch. So basically, if, if I, I would play it if I had a system to play it on." Okay, uh, but uh, but I, I've I've seen videos like I've seen some like I saw Batman's death and I saw like Flash's death scene and I saw one video of uh, Superman and Wonder Woman fighting each other or whatever like that. I know I, I spoiled a little bit of a couple couple plot points for me, but uh, but uh, uh, saw some gameplay here and there, but uh, I, I I don't know the whole game. Okay, so. Maybe I'll play in the future, okay? I just, I just need a system to play it on. Uh, MGM, uh, Multi Gun Man, <laughs> that's where I wrote down MGM. Uh, Multi Gun Man is a long time viewer and subscriber. Uh, Ask me what's my what's my favorite horror movie. That's a tough one. Like there's there's a lot of movies I consider some favorites. You know, uh, I like the Chucky movies. I like the Exorcist movies. Okay, I like those uh, Insidious movies. Oh, I haven't seen the Red Door yet, so I guess I can't say Insidious because I haven't seen all, all of them. But, uh, you know, I, I, when Exorcist Believer came out, I bought the Blu-ray, you know, and uh, when all the Chucky movies came out, like the season sets and stuff like that, I, I should buy them. Um, I would say Chucky is the one I enjoy the most, okay? Uh, I just got really into that, that uh, franchise, okay? Uh, so let's just say the Chucky movies, the Child's Play movies, all right? Uh, I can't even read what it says here. I want to say Grace White or G. Arc White. I can't even read my own handwriting. 8415. Uh, ask, uh, ask me, uh, how did I meet my wife? Uh, we, we, we met on social media. There was a, 
uh, actually, I think it's still around. Uh, Facebook dating, uh, Facebook dating existed uh, at the time, you know. I don't know if it's still around because I, I don't use it anymore. I don't use any dating apps. But uh, that's where we met. We met on Facebook dating, chatted a little bit online, met in person, okay. Met her dad the first day. And uh, I remember we went to a Thai restaurant. To this day, she mentions like uh, every time we go eat at a restaurant or something like that, and it's like brand new and the food's not good. And we, 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 she still says, at least it's not, not compared to that. Our first date, you know, we went to that first date, we went to this one Thai restaurant, and uh, it was awful. Uh, there was no one in the restaurant, food was bland, no flavor to it, you know. And uh, afterwards, well, we, we went back and got some ice cream. Ice cream was good. And at least that kind of was like the saving grace of, of the whole whole first date. Because if, if we ended right after that, that, that meal, ugh, I, she would be like, she, she, she's disappointed already, I'm disappointed already, you know. Uh, not even know the name out. Not even want to promote it, you know. Not, not even sure they're even still in business, you know. Uh, but yeah, uh, wife met on Facebook dating. Uh, at the wedding, the priest, you know, when he like spoke to everyone, mentions that uh, oh, you guys met on social media, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it was like part of his his uh, sermon and stuff like that. Okay, so yeah, met wife Facebook dating. Went to a Thai restaurant that was awful. Then we went to Dairy Queen, got some ice cream. That was great. Okay, that was our first date. <laughs> uh, Ian and Gracia, uh, 316. Uh, they're doing, uh, I can't even read the number. Uh, Ian, longtime viewer subscriber also, okay? Asked me, have I heard the song Your Love by the Outfield? Uh, yeah, I, I know that song. I've heard it on the radio and stuff like that. Um, can't, I, I, I know the words and stuff like that too. I can't, can't sing that at the moment, okay? Um, it goes like, uh, uh, I don't want to feel your love tonight. Something like that, right? <laughs> I know the song, okay? And when the song goes on the radio, I can, I can sing along to it. But but, uh, but not my favorite song. Just I know the song. I just, you know, if, if I hear it on the radio, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is the, the your, uh, your Love by uh, The Outfield. That's like it, you know? I, I don't, uh, I'll, I'll be singing along to it and stuff like that, but. Nothing beyond that. I, I don't have like CDs or posters of Outfield. You know what I'm saying? Um, last question here is from Rihon Nias FM Seven F Zero. What's my favorite line from any film? First of all, uh, uh, sorry if I ruin your names. You know, like uh, look, at my, look at my chicken scratches. You can't, you can't read them yourself, huh? Um, I guess my favorite line from any movie is probably like, uh, "I'm Batman." I, I, that's the first thing that comes to mind is I'm Batman. That's, um, yeah, that's probably my favorite line from any movie, you know. Uh, Batman, long time, uh, long time fan here, you know. Oh, I don't know you guys, I bought two t-shirts that are wrestling related. Uh, anything that has Brock Lesnar's face on it on WWE uh, shop uh, is like super cheap right now. I got this shirt for $12. So, Knight of Champions, Cody Rhodes. Brock Lesnar. Got this shirt on WWE Shop. Really happy I did. I think it sold out all the size larges and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm glad I picked this up when, when, when I did. Okay. Uh, I, I'm a Cody Cry baby, man. I, I, I was like super excited when uh, when he won the champion at uh, WrestleMania this past year. Uh, it was like a month ago or something like that, right? It's just a couple weeks ago, actually. Um, so yeah, that is it, everyone. That is my Sunday vlog. Be sure to comment with some questions for uh, for next week's vlog or next time's vlog. Uh, usually like a holiday or something like that, or I'm busy with that, whatever. Uh, uh, it'll be delayed a little bit, like like no Sunday vlog that week. Okay, but uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to comment, subscribe, spread the word about the channel, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.